This hunt took place on Native American land. The area is extremely remote and facilities are rustic. All supplies are flown in and there are few luxuries. You are of course staying in cabins as opposed to tents as in many other Alaskan hunting locations. The scenery, river travel, wildlife, skill of the guides, camaraderie, and of course the hunt more than make up for anything lacking. It's truly the adventure of a lifetime. Shot, should I take no, hold off, Vince. I think you'd do better. This one here is a sow and it's about eight foot, so I think you should hold off. put me right on that bear. He was 180 yards away. He got up, come right through them alders right down. I had a clear shot like many times, but you assured <laughs> me we could do better. We so. could do better, yes. <laughs> Oh man, that was exciting. Beautiful color. Yeah, real light colored. Oh. Long legs, real pretty. Nice trophy. Well, I didn't want to end the hunt so early anyway. I still have time. Okay. <laughs> On our travels, Ron spotted a good bear and we had to hurry to get a closer look. It was a really good boar, and the key was if we could get into shooting position. Vince, yeah, I see a bear right up here. Where I can't see him, but I'm gonna walk beside right there in the grassy, just heading towards the little valley. Oh yeah, I got him. Okay, let's go. As Ron and Vince approached the stream bed, Vince spotted the bear moving along the high bank opposite their position. Ron immediately told Vince it was a good boar, and Vince quickly got into position to make the shot. Oh, you hammered him.
congratulations, Vince. Thanks, Ron. What a beautiful bear. I can't believe the trophy I got here. Tell me a little bit about him, Ron. He's a nice boar. He's old. Uh, he's about nine foot plus, and he's got, you know, scars in his head, but he's a scrapper. I mean, you know, a lot of boars that are big, they uh, like to fight a lot, and that's why they get all these scars from But um, anybody that comes out here could uh, probably expect, you know, eight and a half plus bears, um, boars. Um, there's a lot here. Uh, you know, this guy here was an uh, older uh, bear, and you could tell by his uh, teeth, you know, he's got three of them left, and one uh, kind of tweaked out a little bit from his jaw being broken from a fight, so yeah, I he had a good trophy. That. Ripped the nose right off. His him. nose. He's got his jaw broken, and, you know, uh, Ron said it was, we had a great hunt here. We've seen bears every day. Uh, Ron, I bet you we've seen over 100 bears in this hunt in 10 days. There's quite a few, and uh, a lot of them still never come out yet. And, you know, there's a lot of snow, and there's still some more to show up. I mean, the spring is late, but, um, you know, we waited out and got yourself a nice trophy. Well, thanks to you, Ron. I got a great trophy. Congratulations. Thanks a lot.